focusing on the families of Ochinamata from the concept of African image expression. What we see here today will be a reflection of what we have. <laughs> Migrating from Nigeria to South Africa in the early hours of 27th August 1998. Alright, though we are members of the great African family, rooted in culture and family values, it is always said in America, taxes and death are the two things that cannot be avoided. Focusing on the families of Uchinamata from the concept of African image expression, the unavoidable text of the US of A is not our focus point, but the inevitable death that brought about the gathering of friends and relatives of Uchinamata right here in Rambeck Recreation Center, Johannesburg. <laughs> Mrs. Ochinawata Nezrora is led, and today her two children, Mr. Anina Fuesde Ochinawata and OG Ochinawata, are celebrating her life with friends and relatives through what they choose to call work keeping. Yeah, my name is Ochinawata Ledger for the younger boy is Ochinawata. I'm very happy because I know it's going to be like this. You understand? I know it's going to be like this. People know of people know us with different things. We don't steal. We don't do bad things. So when you live that kind of life, I think the results we show what we see here today will be a reflection of what we Mrs. Francesca Oyi Ochinamata died on the twenty first day of August twenty twenty three. In preparation for her burial in Nigeria, a night of workkeeping has been organized by her two sons right here in Recreation Center, Rambeg, Johannesburg. Now, Rambeg is located in the Kauthing province of South Africa, bordering Johannesburg to the south, which will officially proclaim the town in 1959. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mrs. Francisca Onye Ochinamata, the mother of our beloved brother. You see, the Bible says that it is appointed unto man once to die, and then judgment follows. So she is like my brother, you know, just like my brother. So he's come to be uh, the last respect to our so his mother that passed away. All right, migrating from Nigeria to South Africa in the early hours of 27th August 1998. From the famous and notorious suburb of Hebrew, the Mosa International Hotel was the building that accommodated several Nigerian immigrants, including Aline Fweze Ochinawata. This is the chronicle of Mimosa Old Boys Association. It can be seen present in this wedding ceremony. <laughs> And in the phrase of Chinawata can be described as a man of people, a man who cannot leave you in distress when faced with trials and the unfortunate invasion of police to any Nigerian immigrant. My name is Uchinawata. Okay. Yeah. The local government. His kind heart and goodwill can be traced to that of his mother, whom we all gathered here for today. She's a former kind of person that lived nasty, dirty life. Most of the people there will talk about me from Minga. I fight for people who I don't stay with the book, I don't stay with the joke or the So my kind of person when you go there, people say, no, it's not to be doing what I would do. I was told that that guy is the idiot. But you know that everybody will love you, you know. Other people will say, talk to me about you, just get you. You know, talk to what you're not, you know. But you can see with your eyes, psychologically, I mean, what you're seeing will show you, you know, will tell you the kind of person I am. God bless you. <laughs>
This is uh, my auntie from the same mother. We're related. So close. So I get to engage in all activities that are required for us to say farewell. The work team that attracted members of the Economic Freedom Fighters in Solidarity, EFF. Let's hear from some of them. Uh, my name is Muzi Shawalala, the regional secretary of the EFF here in Johannesburg. We came here uh, in this event because we spoke to this day. We had our own meeting. So apparently after the meeting, we informed that there's an event taking place here. We came inside to support, not necessarily to check on you, but to support and embrace other Africans. Hey, my name is Shumani. I'm a chairperson of Ward 98 Region B, which is where we are right now in this hall. So as an African, whatever tragedy or any death in the family takes place, it affects the entire community and the entire society. So that is why we said, let's come here in honor of the person who lost the, the loved one and also uh, be in the patient to sit with them and, and understand what they're Okay, thank you very much, members of the EFF. Amandwa! <laughs>
Okay. When I find out you now and then but an unnamed and Nakanka won on a new Why didn't Yenna? So I went All right, an average Nigerian from the southeast Nigeria can hardly be separated from his culture. The gathering of today is an indication that they have not been separated from home. This is Media Report from AIE News, Johannesburg.